Hi, this is Ginger Cook, and I'm trying something a little bit different today. There's a lot of tutorials on YouTube on just step-by-step -step how to paint something, but what I want to talk to you today is about how to determine when you're painting something, how to figure out the time of day, what does your color temperature say about the time of day. That's what we want to go into today. And we're going to give you some examples, and then I don't think you'll ever have a problem with this again. You'll just know it. And we're going to do a few. We're going to do a lot of these. If you guys like them, I want to. They're not going to be very long. Probably about five minutes of your time, and it's going to save you hours at the easel. Take five minutes now, okay? So the example I have below on my screen is a painting I designed for our Art Academy of Fine Art and Acrylic Painting called Mulberry Hill. And you'll notice that the sky is kind of this dusty gray color. There's gray color on the, um, you can see if my mouse will show you that. There's gray colors and purple tones on the driveway. And the light is coming from the windows and the light on the lamp, okay? And what one of the key things to remember is when the day gets darker, okay, when the day gets darker, the colors start to turn blue. So you're going to say, well, how do you know that? I mean, just, well, look at some real photographs and kind of help. This is what we're going to do. We're going to put some real photographs. Here's a photograph of a, um, let me just blow this up a bit here, um, of a, uh, let's see, do I have that here? Can I blow that up a little bit bigger? Uh, let's see, I don't know. I had it at 200%. Let's see if that'll do it. Okay. There. Okay. Now, do you see in this photograph, it's obviously, it's you know, the sun's going down, and you notice the blue cast to the house, to the rocks, and um, even back up here in the top corner, you don't, it's almost dark. Whatever the greenery was up here, you're not seeing it, and you're just seeing the colors and the light from the windows. So that's a great example of how something goes darker. Uh, I want to just take you over one step further and show you this. This is a, just a little English cottage I found on the internet, just a suit searching images, and it's just sort of bright green color at some time in the daytime. Now, what a lot of artists will do is they'll just, they want to put some light in the windows and they'll put this bright color, and that's kind of pretty, but it doesn't say dusk. If you want it to say dusk, you've got to start doing some blue tones. So you're not going to see most of the foreground of this grass. You're not going to see that. You're going to see where it's a lot lighter because of where the windows would light it up. Think about a little bit about planning your picture. You could even add some of these uh, peach tones, maybe like a you know sunset. But the foreground, again, needs to be darker. These trees are going to, really, you're just not going to see the colors, okay? So an example of a painting like we might have on is uh, on YouTube is this one. Here's a YouTube painting, and uh, this was one we, uh, it's an abstract, but it still says the time of day. Notice the blue tones here, uh, the light is shining down, creating some sort of orange, which was nice contrast, the dark blue and the yellow. And if you want to know where that one is, let me just show you real quick. Uh, let's see, let me come over here and just show you that one. I had it a second ago. Let me put my glasses on where I can find the tab for you where that was. Um, right here. Um, YouTube? Nope, that wasn't it. Where'd, where'd it go? Oh, you know what? It's over here. Here. Okay, so here's the Here's our YouTube. This was It's called How to Paint a South American Sunset if you want to know where that is, that tutorial is. Now let's come back over here to our um, English cottage, and I want to come back over to photographs and show you this again. This is just I just Googled in images of English cottages at dusk, and I want to just point out again how the look how everything goes kind of blue in here. See how the this was probably a white cottage, but at night it starts to look blue. You see that it, it it changes color. And even this bridge starts to have some blue cast to it. It's got a little bit more light. And as you scroll down, you can kind of see, you can just look at photographs of what happens at night uh, when things start to get darker. That, that, you know, you get these blue casts to it. Um, I want to come down a little bit further here. Um, let's see, where's our snow scene? I had one down here. Oh, this is a perfect one. I want to show you this one where you have the... You don't even see the green grass anymore, and look how the everything kind of turned blue in this picture, except for the lights. And if we scroll down one more, I want to show you this one 
where it's a snow scene. Where'd my snow scene go? Uh, had a snow scene. Had a snow scene. Well, you know what? Did I make this picture so big we can't see the snow scene? Guess so. Oh, here it is. Here's my snow scene. That was one right below it. All right, so there's our snow scene where the snows turn blue, the sky's blue, and all you see is the lights. Now, admittedly, the photographer went a little crazy with the with the, uh, altering the picture. So sometimes, if you see a photograph like something like this, you have to ask yourself, was it manipulated by the photograph by the photographer, or that's the way it was? But if you're not sure, just take take a moment and look at what happens where the light is shining on the picture and where it isn't and how things start to start to get a blue cast. If you will do that, then um, you're going to find that the temperature of your paintings are going to be more congruent to what you're painting. In other words, you're going to understand when you start playing with temperature, and this is what I want to really emphasize, when you start playing with the temperature of the picture, you get into more of the advanced painting skills because now you're more in control. You want to be in control of your lighting, and this is how to do it. How to be in control of the lighting for your picture. So what do we, you know, in summary, we know that as, as the day gets longer, the grass gets darker, and you start to see less detail. The, the darker it's starting to get, and you have lights, your painting is going to have more blue tones, and less detail is going to show up. So anyway, hope you found that helpful. If you like this, if you'd like to see more of these type of videos, these little short, um, just fast lessons on things that you can do to improve your painting, let us know in the comments how you like this. And uh, this is Ginger saying I'll see you in the live show soon. Well, I've got to figure out how to turn it off now. <laughs> All right. Shift Command R. It's going to 